Thieves target an Arden neighborhood, and residents are now concerned about their safety. Yeah, homeowners in the Wait Still Mountain area say that the same garages are being hit, and they're asking for your help to put an end to it. News 13's Hope Hanselman joins us. And Hope, these break ins are happening at any time of day? And that may be the most concerning part of this story, that there doesn't appear to be any fear of getting caught for whoever is stirring up so much trouble. People here leave their garage doors open. I mean, why should you live in fear? You won't have to look far in the Wait Still Mountain neighborhoods to find an open target. Somebody put a newsletter in our paper mailbox said somebody's getting break-ins. So we received some warnings from other neighbors and to, you know, warning us to be watchful and keep our eye at all times. That's the best solution homeowners came up with after discovering at least eight break-ins over the last month. It is concerning, especially for us that are new to this area and, you know, it's a nice neighborhood and fairly quiet and peaceful. For many, it feels as if these thieves are becoming too comfortable. It's just scary of what these uh, thieves are going to do next. Are, are they going to start going inside our homes? Susie Marisi is especially concerned for her granddaughter, who was home during one of the attacks. Even in the daylight, I mean, even before dark, it's happened to my daughter before dark. Uh, when they were out back having dinner, somebody came in their garage. Really terrifying to think that they would come in while we were home. Neely Carter says she's been staying up at night to keep watch on her neighborhood. We just had the fourth break in into our car and they stole my mom's new purse, attempted to break into it another time and um, messed up the window, stole $80 out of my sister's. She showed us the glass breaker they believe left these marks on the window of her mom's car. My grandchildren live here. You know, nobody wants anything to happen to the kids. Neely says she saw a sheriff's office car patrolling their neighborhood last night, but the Bumpkin, Bump, Buncombe County Sheriff's Office is encouraging anyone to report any issues they have.